Hi, I'm Monik Vassan. I'm a dentist from the United Kingdom. I have a special interest in minimally invasive aesthetic dentistry with a big focus on short-term orthodontic work along with adhesive dentistry, specifically with direct composite bonding. I'm here to talk to you today about the Myris 2 material by Colteen. Myris 2 has been used by many of the world's leading clinicians for many years despite newer materials regularly coming to the marketplace. Why, you may ask, is this material so popular? The answer is in its ability to replicate nature predictably whilst ensuring ease of use and ideal handling. Many of the restorative materials today are based on the age-old Vita shading system, with materials being designed to have a single shade aimed to replicate both enamel and dentine. However, in nature, a tooth color is created by the complex interaction of dentine, enamel, their respective thicknesses, and their interactions with light. With this in mind, how can one shade of material used in varying thicknesses accurately mimic this very complex union? The dilemma led to the birth of the natural layering concept, which was the brainchild of Dr. Didier Dietschy. It was the conclusion of many years of study to discover the ideal properties that a composite material should have to accurately replicate both dentine and enamel. If a material could be produced that accurately mimicked these properties, then combining the dentine and the enamel layers together in the correct thickness should result in a restoration as close to a natural tooth as possible. Studies into the properties of natural dentine found that most dentine was found to have the same basic color or hue and it was similar to the A shades on the Vita shade guide, with very few dentine samples having the B, C, or D shades. The dentine samples were also found to have a very similar opacity, but a much wider range of chroma or color saturation than on the traditional Vita shade guide. This data was then used to formulate the Myris 2 dentine shades, which are all based around the A shades with a similar opacity but a much wider range of color saturation, going from S0 to S7, as here. The research found that enamel tremendously influenced the perception of color. They found that in natural enamel, differences in lightness and translucency proved to vary in relation to tooth age, and therefore, three different types of enamel were described. First, we have young enamel. This had a white tint and a very high opalescence and less translucency. Adult enamel was the second type, which had a natural tint, less opalescence and an intermediate translucency. And then old enamel, which had a yellow tint and a higher translucency to allow for some of these natural variations between the distinct groups. Five different types of enamels based on the above findings were made for Myris II. Myris 2 dentine and enamel layers exhibit a fluorescence very similar to the natural tissue. The natural layering concept recognizes the changes which occur over the life of a tooth. In young teeth, dentine has a low chroma and enamel is white with a highly marked opalescent effect. In adult teeth, dentine has a high chroma and enamel is getting more neutral with an increased translucency. In older teeth, dentine is having a very high chroma and enamel has a very high translucency, which gives this enamel a natural gray appearance. With time, the relationship between dentine and enamel changes in the incisal edge due to tooth wear. Dentine is progressively exposed and the amount of enamel covering the incisal edge will progressively be reduced. The Myris 2 shade guide is one of the major advantages of the material. We have separate dentine and enamel shade guides, as so. We first start by taking the dentine shade from the cervical area of the tooth, as here the enamel covering is thinnest, which allows the dentine shade to be more easily assessed. Then we select the enamel shade from the incisal edge of the tooth, and here the enamel is thickest and the dentine influence is less, allowing the enamel shade to be more accurately assessed. Now, once the shades are selected, the chosen dentine and enamel shade tabs 
can be fitted together seamlessly to allow you to check whether the two shade is correct. Most importantly, these shade guides are made from the Myris 2 material itself. Unlike many other manufacturers' shade guides, which are made with a different material than that being used. This has very important implications as other materials will interact with light differently to composite and hence the shade will not be accurate. The basic layering of Myris involves the application of two materials and in 95% of cases you will only need a single dentine and a single enamel shade. Only in an obviously polychromatic tooth will more than one shade of each be needed. Ideally, we want to use dentine and enamel composite layers in a similar arrangement, position, and amount as found in the natural tooth. In addition to the dentine and enamel shades, we also have four effect shades used in very specific situations to replicate the natural tooth effects when needed. The effect blue is to simulate the incisal edge opalescence in young teeth. The gold material is used to simulate areas of high chroma, sometimes found in the incisal edge area. And finally, the white to white opaque effects can be used to simulate white spots or highlight cusps or slopes, maybe on posterior teeth. Myris can be used in any anterior or posterior situation. Its nano-hybrid chemistry means it is strong and durable for posterior use, whilst its optical properties and excellent polishability make it an ideal anterior material. In addition, its handling makes it easy to sculpt with minimal slumping whilst also being able to be manipulated into a very thin section, making it a real all-rounder. In summary, if you want to replicate nature, then Myris 2 is your composite.